Hey y'all, I'm G1 Madden with G1 Insights, and I'm here with yet another episode. This is season two, episode two. I'm super excited because this particular topic is called Release and Recreate. Now, I got excited about all this because we always talk about forgiveness, but nobody never talks to us about how difficult it is to forgive and forget okay whatever right like I can forgive you but that don't mean that it completely left my mind and I would never think about it again and ladies and gentlemen I want to explain to you you know um just a few key pointers you know really basic things that um you know a lot of people like to make it difficult I get it it's not easy but this is how you can start release and recreate that is my topic so when you guys are going through a rough patch a rough page in your life things are rapidly changing or slowly changing whatever you want to call it right when you're going through a rough patch either in your relationship you're experiencing difficulties or going through rapid changes in your personal relationships your business relationships partnerships and that sort of thing when it comes to insecurity, betrayal, separation, anxiety, or even infidelity, it is so important to release and recreate. Come back to the center. Remember that one moment when you felt so alive? Like, you remember that moment. You guys know what I'm talking about. You felt so good meeting this person. You were so alive. You was like, oh my God, they make me feel so good. You know, I'm excited about this union. You know, I can't wait for this person to meet my parents or my friends or, um, you know, my, my bestie. Like, I just can't wait to introduce this person to the people that I love the most, right? We need to find a way to get back to that place. So that is what I'm gonna talk about today, right? Release. Try to understand the reason for your pain in the first place. Why are you even hurting? Who hurt you? What caused the pain, right? How did it make you feel? Were you angry? Were you upset? Were you emotional? Did you get distraught? Did you get depressed? What were your feelings like? It's important to even acknowledge those feelings. Yes, I want you to feel that pain because if you do not acknowledge that pain, guess what? You will not understand the reason why I'm telling you to release. So, it is important to release these negative energies. Before they, before you even start over, before these feelings, these negative thoughts even begin to take over your life, right? Before you even begin to get into a new relationship, it's so important to release, okay? Understand where these energies are coming from. It's time to release these negative energies before starting over. I always talk about forgiveness, and yes, it is true, and it's not easy and i feel sorry for people that 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 was told hey it's easy you know you just forgive you let it go you know forgive and forget hey god didn't hold nothing against us yeah whatever okay the actual fact is most humans will literally say hey i forgive you but in reality is they didn't forget that bullshit you just pulled okay that's the reality of it okay so what we need to practice is releasing and recreating we need to get back to that place when we were once happy naive and um and naive in a good way right well we were like full of love full of laughter we believed nothing negative right we didn't even think of anything negative how can we truly be happy in a relationship if we do not take the time to breathe again to recreate to heal we must first release all of that bad tension change our perception we must also believe that part of the healing process is gratitude we need to practice gratitude we need to be grateful for all of our trials and tribulations if you have made it through all of this pain in the past right and all of that horrible energy that difficult situation that horrific relationship it is time for you to embrace to be grateful that you have actually made it through that moment that you have so much to be thankful for correct me if i'm wrong all right now the other thing is you know being comfortable in our own skin being comfortable with the idea of you know what i'm not perfect but you loved me knowing that i was not perfect 
And because of that, I'm going to try my best to release all of this toxic energy. The, the thoughts, the negative thoughts that I, th I have of you or the negative images that I have of you. Um, even when we think that we're not being negative, sometimes we need to take a step back and say, hey, you know what, they did not deserve that comment today. I could have said something a lot more nice, something more pleasant. I could have been a lot more easygoing. I didn't have to be such a bitch about it, right? Like, it takes a real full-blown healing adult or someone that has really accomplished a lot of growth to say, you know what, I didn't mean to say that to you. You know, I want to take that back because... I want us to heal together. I want us to get over this hump together. You fucked up. You made a mistake. I made a mistake. How can we heal from this? How can we grow? What can we learn from this situation? So when I say, guys, release and recreate, that is exactly what I'm talking about. Releasing the crap is not saying that it's going to be easy to forget. You will occasionally have those thoughts in your mind of betrayal. You know, can I trust this person again? Will they lie to me again? Um, should I uh, forgive them? You know, should I take them back? Whether this is a friendship, guys, it doesn't even have to be romance, okay? Guys, I'm sorry. I, I hear some type of beefing outside my window. It's so annoying. But this does not necessarily have to be romance, guys. This can be your friendships. This can be um, a family situation, your siblings, anything, guys, okay? This can be something you deal with with your children, okay? Yes, we can forgive, but nobody ever told us that it was going to be easy. The road is never that easy. That is just a life that is promised to us, unfortunately, right? We go through all these hiccups. All these bumps in the road. And for some miraculous reason, something amazing always happens to us in the process. So what I'm saying is forgive, but it's an important process to release and to recreate. Go back. Go back to that moment when you were giddy, you were happy, you were satisfied. Go back to that moment where, you know, a lot of people may say, well, I don't want to be naive because you know what? That's what got my heart broken in the first place. And I'm going to tell you something. It's okay. It's okay if they break your heart again or if someone else break your heart. It's okay. And I'm going to tell you why it's okay. Because, honey, that is how you grow. That is how you manifest the best things ever. When you are willing and ready to sacrifice and go through the, the, the unseen right like that is what makes you who you are that is what makes you feel complete inside yes it's gonna sting yes it's gonna burn yes it's gonna try to break you down and yes the situation may even try to get the best of you but i promise you my love that is where the growth is okay so release and recreate before you even start to get into something new, before you even get into a new relationship, release and recreate. Before you even start talking about dating again or getting to know someone new, it's time to release and recreate. You know what? I'm not even going to compare you to my ex because my ex was a piece of shit, but you, sir, even though you smell just like him or you, ma'am, just because you you got that swag like she do or you may walk the way that she walk or you may even talk the way that she does. But you know what? I'm not going to hold that against you. I'm not going to put my blame and my hurt on you that I suffered with with this person. I'm not going to do that because, see, I'm releasing and I'm recreating. I'm recreating a new path. I'm starting over. I'm not looking at the past. I don't even care about the past. I'm not focused on the past right as a matter of fact ladies and gentlemen here's a key point before i wrap it up right to know when someone is truly for you can i say something and a lot of you may not even like this when i say it mm -hmm. a person that is truly for you won't even give a damn to hear about your past can i tell you that yeah i was always told that and i never understood it and i was like what yeah they should want to hear my pain yeah they should want to know what i'm going through they should care, but it doesn't mean that they need to hear it. 
And guess what? A person that really is for you, a person that really cares for you will not even pressure you into talking about your past. It will be natural. It will be something that naturally happens. You will never have to sit there and say, you know, well, I don't want to talk about it. I'm not ready. And they're like, well, did, how many people you slept with? You know, um, did, how was your last relationship? Like, who cares? Like, I'm with you. I love you. Like, you're the one I'm dedicating my life to. You're the one that I want to be with. You're the one that I'm sacrificing all of this for. Hello. Like, who actually cares? A person that really cares for you will not spend so much time focused on your past, my love. They will, in fact, allow you to naturally talk about it without any force, without any conviction, without any uh, dramatic. It will naturally happen. There will be no condemnation. There will be no, well, you said and he said and she said. There will be no judgment. You will feel completely free talking about your past with this person because at the end of the day, that person is for you. They will not try to force that out of you. Because what I have learned is if you force it or if you try to rush um, a conversation or try to get this person to understand how much pain you've been through and you want to talk about your ex over and over and over, it's either two things that's going to happen. Either they're going to learn from that lesson and say, you know what, well, I'm not going to treat this person that way, or I'm going to treat you better than that person. Take it from me. Release, 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 create, my love.